guys I am so excited about this tutorial that I am doing this is like I guess my first tutorial on my first hair tutorial well, I think it's my second I don't know but anyways so I was really feeling these um, faux locks by making good and I wanted to try them but I know that I didn't have the money to purchase the hair I know the hair is like $400 I don't even know who the lady's name is that did her hair um, it's like on her actually it's actually right here on my phone because I was just looking at the picture. So the lady that did her hair is Dr. Carrie Williams. And um, I guess you can, I heard the hair is like $400. So I don't know, I guess you just go to drcarrie.com and I guess you can purchase the hair. I'm not sure. Um, personally, me, it's not worth $400. Um, to me because they're not going to stay in for a long time. They're only going to stay in for about a month or so. Um, for me, my hair is very soft, so this will only last me maybe a month, um, if that. I'm really hoping that it lasts me two months. Um, the last time I had faux locks, I used yarn to do mine, which I, will, I might do again after this. The only thing about the yarn is it takes way longer to me because you have to measure the hair before you put it in your hair it's just it's a longer process but it's a bit easier as far as like stranding the hair um it wraps easier the only thing is when you wrap the yarn you have to really push it up so sometimes you could have like some you know gaps in between but I, I don't know I really think they're both probably weighable they're about the same um this hair that I use was a uh, a certain type of Marley hair and then I used a curly hair by feature so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel I want to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed um, I really appreciate it I appreciate all the support that I've gotten so far and all the great comments and for all the people that I have been like working with on YouTube I'm excited to get to know a lot of you and I'm excited to start collaborating with you and I'm excited for my new subscribers so if you're new to this channel and if you this is your first time. I do a variety of different things. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you have some type of moisturizer, some edge control or edge tamer, some nail glue for the ends of the hair, of course some scissors, and don't forget a comb. And then you're going to want to have your type of Marley hair. Mine is Jamaican Bray Twist. Along with your features hair, I did Deep Wave and Loose Wave. So when you're ready, you're going to section your hair and prepare your hair to be braided. Now I'm going to protect my ends by moisturizing them with my moisturizing cream by applying it to the ends of my hair to protect from breakage and damaging. Then you're going to want to make sure you comb it out and smooth it out. And then go ahead and apply that edge control. Then you're just going to want to go ahead and braid that right on in there. Stop at the end of your hair. And then here I'm just measuring Marley hair from the end to the top so that I can still have hair left by the time I reach the bottom. Now you're going to take your Marley hair and then measure from the bottom of where you would like to end up to the top. You want to do this so that the braid can be thick enough 
in order to wrap the Marley hair around. If it's not thick and it's thin, then it's not gonna wrap well and it will unravel. And trust me, I know because this is my first time doing it and I did it a good 10 braids. I was a little upset, so I had to go and retake them out and redo them, which took some time. So make sure that you leave some of that Marley hair at the end so that it can be nice and thick. I've reached the bottom I'm going to go ahead and take it and just wrap it back up going upward and spread up back downward So you want to take your scissors, just trim off any extra pieces, and then take your glue and just dab a little drop or two below it, and then you're going to want to palm roll it to make sure that it stays in place. So this is how long, I hope you guys can see it, so this is how long they are. They literally, one comes like all the way down to the top of my, like, book crack. <laughs> Sorry. but yeah they're pretty long in the back um i did the ones in the back really long i was gonna do more uh, but i didn't want to run out of hair which was about to happen i didn't want to spend more money on hair so that's kind of what i did and that's it hope you guys like it and i can't wait to see you try them please tag me and show me your results if you follow my tutorial Thank you.